Hi everybody, welcome, welcome to Ageless Fitness Lifestyle. I am so glad that you are joining me today and this is the first of the year when I am uh, putting this video out. So it's January 2023 and happy blessed new year to all of you and just thank you from the bottom of my heart for your encouragement, your inspiration in 2022. I promise you I'm going to try and give it right back to you because this year 2023 we are going to work out we're going to give this life our very very best we're going to demolish that myth that once you get a certain age you are over the bridge it's all over for you look I'm 70 years old 70 years young and I'm still still getting after it. So I just thank you for being my soldiers and defeating the myth of the, the lies that once you reach a certain age, you should just sit back and sit in a rocking chair and let life pass you by. That's a lie. That's a big lie. But today I have a full body workout for you. And if you are beginning, beginner, excuse me, I'll show you how to take those little steps until you just, you know, in increase your strength, increase your weight, increase your flexibility to do it. Because again, if I can do it, you can do it. So we are not putting any kind of limitations on ourselves this year. We are going to believe in ourselves and we're going to believe that we can get the body that we want no matter what our age is. Oh, I'm on my podium. But before I get started, before I really jump into it, if you are new to this channel, you have come across a serious community who believes in their health and their fitness and who does not believe in the lie that once you are a certain age, you can't do what, your, what you want your body to do. You can do it. You can do it. So again, I digress again. If you're new to this channel, please come on and join us. All right. Come on and work out with us. Come on and have some fun with us as we build our bodies up and become stronger and stronger and stronger. Because as you age, the best thing that you can do for yourself is to put on muscle. The best thing that you can do for yourself is exercise and move your body. So without further ado, let's get ready to jump right into this full body exercise routine. All right, here we go. Let's get ready to get after it. Yeah. Okay, what we're going to do, our first move, we're going to do forward lunges. We're going to do forward lunges. And for my beginners, I want you to do what you can do. If you can just go down this slow, a little bend, do it. This slow, a little bit, do it, all right? I want you to be patient with yourself. Things take time. Rome was not built in a day. So we're gonna do our forward lunges. We're gonna do five of them. And after we do our forward lunges, we are going to immediately go into a push-up. all right? For my beginners, if you are not comfortable doing a push-up on your toes. Get your mat. Use the knees that God blessed you with and get on your knees and you're just going to do a regular push-up on your knees. You're going to give me fun. Again, I want you to be patient with yourself. When I started my workout, when I started working out, I couldn't do push-ups on my toes. You know, I, that wasn't possible. I had to start with on my knees. So that's, do not beat yourself up. Everyone started from the beginning, all right? So you're going to get on your knees and you're going to do your push-ups 
after we do these forward lunges. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do the whole routine for you. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Here is the routine. Excuse me, I'm so excited. Here is the routine. We're gonna do it twice. You can do it as many times as you want. Make this exercise routine yours. Personalize it for you, all right? But because of time, I just wanna, I just wanna show you these exercises which are going to benefit your body and also your mind. So we're gonna start off with our forward lunges. Again, for my beginner superstars, just go as low as you can, all right? Don't push yourself. Do what you can because we don't want to have any injuries or anything, all right? So here we go. We're going to start with our lunges. We're going to do five and then we're going to do five push-ups and then we're going to get right back into the lunges, all right? Okay, here we go. One. One. Two. Two, working on that balance. Three, three, four, four, five, five. Then we're going to jump right into that push up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're going to march ourselves back up and we're going to go right into those lunges. That push up felt so good. I know I said five, but I had to give myself a five extra one. Two, three, Three, four, four, next one, five, five. Then we're going to get right back into that push up. One, two, three, four, five. March ourselves back up. Go right back into that lunge. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, Five, going to go right back to the ground and we're going to do those push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. March ourselves right back up and that's going to be that set. But my beginners, my beginner superstars, follow along with me. Go in. If that's what you can do, one, one, that's beautiful. I salute you. Two, as low as you can go. Two, if you can't go very low, it's all right. Three, three, yeah. Four, you're raising your heart rate up. Four, when you raise that up, you burn those calories. Five, five. Then you're going to get your mat, put it down, you're going to get on your knees. And you're going to say to yourself, knees, eventually, I won't need you to do my push-ups. I will eventually do, my, do them on my toes. But for right now, I bless you. I bless you for being here for me so that I can do my push-ups on my knees. Here we go. One, two, three, four, 
five. And that's the way you're going to do it. You're going to come back up, throw the mat to the side, then one, as low as you can go, one, two, two, three, uh-huh, four, four, five, five. You're going to do that for three times, all right? Three rounds. That way, you're burning up the calories, you're doing a little cardio, you're working the glutes, you're working everything. Everything is being worked. So, take baby steps, all right? Don't, as I said, you know, the Empire State Building wasn't built in one day. The Eiffel Tower wasn't created in one day. You just have to be patient with yourself, okay? Okay, grab some water, and then let's get ready for our next move, all right? Okie doke, here we go. Okay, next move, we work the lower part of our body. We work the glutes, we work the legs, we worked our balance. So now we are going to concentrate on the upper part of the body. We're gonna work our shoulders, and we're gonna work our biceps, and we're going to work our triceps at the same time. This is called a compound move. So you can use a three pound weight, you can use a five pound weight. This is 10 pounds. You can use 15, you can use 20, whatever you feel comfortable with. If you don't have any weights at home, you can grab a water bottle and use that as your weight, all right? So let me demonstrate to you what we're gonna get ready to do, all right? So this is 10 pounds. We're gonna do a bicep curl. We're gonna do a shoulder press. Then we're gonna work our triceps, bring it back up, bring it halfway down, and all the way down. Bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep. Up, halfway down, down. Bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep, up, down, down. All right, you got it? So grab your weight, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever you're comfortable with, grab your weight and then let's get ready to get started, okay? I'm gonna wait for you, grab your weight. I'm waiting for you. Here we go. Okay there, I see some of you have your weight, some of you have three pounds, five pounds, and other of you have 10 pounds, just like me. So I'm using 10 pounds, all right? So here we go. We're gonna start down. We're going to do bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep, up. Halfway down, all the way down. Bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep, all the way up, halfway down, down. Bicep curl, shoulder press, there go those triceps, up, halfway down, all the way down. Bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep, all the way up, halfway down, all the way down. Bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep, back up, halfway down, all the way down. Bicep curl, up, tricep, up, halfway down, all the way down. Bicep curl, shoulder press. When we do that shoulder press, I want you to keep your arms as close to your head as you possibly can so we can hit those triceps. Up, halfway down, all the way down. Bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep. Back up, halfway down, all the way down. Bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep, 
Back up, halfway down, all the way down. Three more. Bicep curl. Shoulders, triceps, up, halfway down, all the way down. Bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep, keeping those arms as close to your head. Back up, halfway down, all the way down. Two more. Bicep curl, up, tricep, up. Halfway down, all the way down. Bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep, back up. Halfway down, all the way down. Now let's, let's speed it up. All right, we're gonna do three speedies. All right, here we go. Bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep, up. Halfway down, boom. Bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep, up. Halfway down. Boom, shoulder press, tricep. Sorry, I got a little confused here, but here we go. Bicep curl, shoulder press, triceps. Up, halfway down, boom. Bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep. Back up, halfway down, all the way down. Bicep curl, shoulder press. Tricep, back up, boom, boom. One more, bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep, back up, halfway down, all the way down. You did it. I recommend 12 to 15, all right? So that'll really get the blood pumping and the biceps, the shoulders, and the triceps. <laughs> Spring and summer is coming. We're going to be ready. We're going to be ready with our consistency. Our discipline, our consistency is going to show up with this move. All you have to do is be consistent. I recommend doing this exercise maybe two or three times a week. You will see the results. And why will you see the results? It's because you don't, for the most part, we don't carry that much fat in our arms. So that way the muscle can really pop up. It can really pop off and just start showing itself off, all right? So try this exercise, as I said, two, three times a week. If you really want to get after it, do it four times a week. But in between, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That would be best. So you can give your muscle a break to recover and to rebuild itself back up so it can be nice and powerful. You know, women, some women, they don't like to do exercise because they say, oh, I don't want to be all bulky like a man. Impossible. You don't have that hormone that a man has. So don't worry about that. But you want to build your muscle. Muscle equals longevity and protection as well. So let's get ready to uh, move into our next exercise. All right, grab some water. Let's get ready to continue. Here we go. Okay, here we go. We're getting ready to do our next exercise. And the next exercise is going to be a standing ab workout. Some people have difficulty, you know, getting on the floor and doing the crunches and everything. So we're gonna switch it up a bit and we're gonna do some standing abs. We're gonna work our abs and we're gonna work our obliques, all right? So how we're gonna do it is similar to our warm up that we had. We're gonna do one, we're gonna really crunch it, all right? Just uh, really crunch that midsection there, all right? So let's do 10. One, yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, really crunch it, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Then we're going to go right into our obliques. 
We're going to stand on one leg here. One leg is going to balance us. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to go right to the next leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're going to go right back into our standing abs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right back to those obliques. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, that works the midsection. It works the obliques. Boom, boom. It works the heart too. Let's finish this thing up, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really crunch it. Eight. Really crunch it. Nine, ten. Let's get right into those obliques. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Really feel it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That, that, my friends, is a triple threat. Why? Why is it a triple threat? Because we worked the front of our core. We worked our obliques. And we got that cardio in there, too. So that's a really, really good move. All right? Grab some water. Let's get ready for our final exercise. All right, here we go. Get some water. I congratulate you. I congratulate you for hanging in there with me because uh, this thing is not easy, but if it was easy, everybody would have a fabulous looking body, but you really have to work at it. You have to work it at it and in working at it, you're investing in yourself. And I, I can't think of a better thing to invest in than you. So our final exercise of the day is we're going to be working on our back. All right. And what we're going to do, grab three pounds. These are five pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pounds, whatever you feel comfortable with. We're going to bend over slightly. We're going to keep that tummy in. We're going to go one, one, one together. Up. Up, together, one, one, up, together, all right? So let's do 10 of these, all right? So this is one, this is one, one, two, three, four, really squeeze it. Five, six, yeah, seven, eight, yes, really, nine, ten, give me five more, one, Two, 
three, four, five. Oh, oh yes, oh yes. We worked that body today. Good job, good job for working out with me. I really, I really appreciate that. I, I really, really appreciate your company. Honestly, I do. Grab some water and I'll come right back to you. I'm going to grab some water too, all right? So grab some water. Okay, here we go. That was a good workout. That, no, that was an excellent workout. And as I said earlier, thank you so much for joining me. So um, I have my water, but uh, when, after I say goodbye to you, I'm going to grab my protein shake. I have my protein shake, plant-based protein shake, and I use uh, plant-based milk and just shake it up and drink it. And my muscles start saying, thank you. That's what you want. Be sure you grab your protein drink after your workout. It's so beneficial for the body, all right? And then after you have your protein drink, be sure you nourish your body with some good, solid, nutritional food. No junk, no junk in this temple here. We're gonna love this temple and we're gonna take care of it. So again, if, oh, if you're not a subscriber, please come on and join the community. It's a lot of fun. And if you're looking for a personal trainer, look no further, here I am. We can do it. We can train one-on-one -on -one online, all right? We're going to be doing training. We're going to talk about nutrition and we're going to be working on our diet. So I'll leave all the information in the description below, all right? But whatever you do, keep on working out. Keep on investing in yourself, all right? Take good care. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're not a subscriber, come on and subscribe. Take good care. I appreciate you. Take good care now. Bye-bye.